I have had a background <coughs> of these kinds of official inquiries and then of course in 2013 there was the Integrity Commission, Integrity Committee mm -hmm. that was set up by CONCACAF huh. to inquire into certain aspects of the management of CONCACAF while it was wow. under the leadership of Jack Warner and Chuck Blazer. Wow. And we produced a report which is on the net. CONCACAF Integrity Committee report. We found that um, Warner had, and Blazer had been very fraudulent in their management of CONCACAF. Um, <clears throat> and they were in breach of FIFA statutes, and <laughs> Code of Ethics, all kinds of things. I had a political career. Right. Of what, 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I kept increasing my majority every election. Um, I represented the constituency that Tom Adams, the former Prime Minister, a former Prime Minister of Barbados, represented. Mm -hmm. And I got more votes than he ever got. Wow. And I suppose, you know, it, it was a low point in the history of the Barbados Labour Party, but a high point in my political career. Yes. In 1986, when there were general elections, the Barbados Labour Party got three seats. And the Democratic Labour Party got 24. Hmm. Um, so I was one of an opposition of three. Hmm. And I suppose that you would have to ask the Barbarians that must have how been come hmm. that, you know, 24 members of the Labour Party got beaten lost their seeds, lost their pods, all kinds of things. And three survived, and one of whom was David Simmons. I can't explain it, they would have to tell you. Perhaps the other thing that is very worrying is just the number of lawyers that we're producing every year. <laughs> Can the society and the economies of these islands sustain this production line of lawyers from Cape Hill, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago. I am not sure. I, I said I'm worried because our societies can only sustain a finite, in my view, a finite number mm. of lawyers who can earn a decent living. Mm -hmm. If the supply of lawyers heavily outweighs the demand for lawyers, you're going to have problems. Yes. And that is where the dishonesty is going to uh, raise its head. It was the lady, Adina Darby, mm -hmm. better known as Rosie, mm -hmm. who was given evidence. Mm -hmm. And there was an interchange uh, <clears throat> between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Some of that was shown on Barbados television. Mm -hmm. And the people raved about it. And they wanted me to get a DVD of 
her evidence. Wow. Now she spoke um, the real battle. I do remember it now, yeah. The real yeah. dialect. Yeah. And my friends were asking me, do you, did you understand what she was saying? And I really and truthfully understood. If we can get that evidence that was not available to Mr. Bitter, then I don't think that anybody need worry about um, the outcome of the report. I can, I can assure them that um, Good. if we get that evidence, it will help us to produce uh, a report whose findings will be impeccable. And um, I have indicated that for the recommendatory aspect of the report, I would like the former heads of the security forces to sit with us to enable us to develop a series of recommendations that could be used, that could be implemented and used across Jamaica so that the events of May 2010 will not ever be repeated.